sea breeze, and land breeze. From the activity you have learned that sand heats up faster than water and that sand cools down faster than water. In the same way, when land surfaces are exposed to the sun during the day, they heat up faster than bodies of water. At night, when the sun has set, the land loses heat faster than bodies of water. How does this affect the air in the surroundings? When does sea breeze occur? Imagine that you are standing by the sea along the shore. During the day, the land heats up faster than the water in the sea. The air above land will then become warm ahead of the air above the sea. You know what happens to warm air? It rises. So, the warmer air above the land will rise. The air above the sea will then move into replace the rising warm air. You will then feel this moving air as a light wind as a sea breeze. When does land breeze occur? What will happen at night when the sun is gone? The land and sea will both cool down. But the land will lose heat faster than the water in the sea. In other words, the sea will stay warm longer. This time, the air above the sea will be warmer than the above land. The warm air above the sea will then rise. Air from land will move out to replace the rising warm air. This moving air or wind from land is called a land breeze. In the illustration, you can see an arrow pointing upward. This represents rising warm air. The, the place where warm air rises is a place where air pressure is low. In other words, the place where warm air is rising is a low pressure area. In contrast, cold air is dense and tends to sink. The place where cold air is sinking is a high pressure area. Based on what you learned so far, in what direction does air move from a low pressure area to a high pressure area or other way around? You probably know the answer already. That air moves from high pressure area to a low pressure area.